Hey guys, back at it again with another Odd Couple statue review. I'm Adrian and this is Jason. Uh, today we'll be doing the Iron Man Comic Cat Classic version, so stay tuned. Okay guys, we're back. So before we get into any origin or anything about the statue, I think we need to talk about the Collectiverse. Just briefly, Jason. Yes, yeah, um, guys, uh, great concept. If you haven't already, check out their webpage, um, thecollectiverse.com. Absolutely fantastic. Got heaps of information from all the studio companies, um, from all the different manufacturers and stuff like that. Like, I used to you know, jump on the Prime One side or the Sideshow website and have a look at information and stuff, see yep. what new was coming out, or, or rely on like Facebook, affiliate links and stuff like that. Not to buy from, but just to look and say, oh, that's come up from PO and stuff like that. Yeah. Now, man, you just jump on there. And it's good. they got all the stuff that's coming out, um, interviews with people, and they've got like lists, um, like different parts on their website that has like different, so people that do like reviews like us, there's a dedicated page that you can see not just us, but many other reviewers and stuff like that. Guys. And that's one that really like suits our uh, new people in the collecting and also, you know, the elite. So it's got all the Yeah, yeah, for example, that's what I'm saying. It's not for like, you know, the, what we would call the, the stuffy elite, that, you know, like they think that they're better than everyone else or like their opinions matter more or anything like that. So it's, it's basically just a, a get together place for everybody. Like it's not a forum or anything like that. You just watch your videos. Um, you can get in contact with the people directly and stuff like that. It's made up of lots of, lots of different people. Um, but yeah, great concept, amazing. But today we're here to talk about All right. this amazing uh, so, statue. So back to why we'll, everyone at home we will be watching the video. As I said earlier, this is the Iron Man Comiket Classic version. Uh, released in 2009, so it's yes. about, about in the mark for eight years. Yeah. Uh, I think I believe it's limited to 1,250. He is, yes. There's so, also an exclusive version of this. Um, the yep. only difference is that he's got like a an unmasked. So it's like Tony Stark's head, and he's the arm here is actually holding the Iron Man. That'd be pretty cool. It is. It's really cool. cool. But look, there's a certain flippers market out there. Yep. Um, and look, it's supply and demand, guys. So I'm not pointing fingers or blaming anyone in that. Like if you've got a piece and someone says to you that's worth 1,250. You think it's worth one thousand two hundred and fifty? You know what I mean. Um, so, for example, there's a lot of people that do have the that one, you know, the, the exclusive or something. Yep. But the prices are astronomical that yep. they're asking for. So, and it's hard to get one in very good condition because, as you yeah. said, it's eight years old. Well, then again, so. it just goes down to how much you actually want the statue at the end of the day. How yeah, much well, you actually, pay for it? I, I lucked out. I found a bloke um, on eBay. Um, shout out to him if he's watching. Hey, guys. Uh, basically, it was a really good deal. Um, there was one minor imperfection, I'll show that in the close-up, but it wasn't major to me because it's, you know you don't see it when it's on display. Um, which, oh look, I'll just say there's a little chip down at the bottom of the foot down here. Um, not a big issue, but I'll show you later on. But yeah, like when I saw the price it was at, had to have it. Yeah. It was just too good to be true. So yeah. I mean, um, if you see an old piece that you've seen pictures of and stuff like that. And that oh, this, this one, and there's a Captain America one of it as well. It's the flag. It's yeah, the pose really the tops flag. off the statue. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. we should um, get more into the origins. Yeah, the we'll, so we'll, we'll get into origins. So Jason, explain to everyone. Most people would know if they're an Iron Man fan in the comic books. So what? So what's with the look? The different look? Because it's very different to modern Iron Man, Tony Stark in the movies. Well, okay. If we're going to count the MCU, which is like the cinematic universe and stuff like that, there's pretty much been three different origins to Iron Man. Okay. Okay. Um, this is the original. Like from going way back from when Iron Man was first in the Marvel comics. Yeah. So in this one, this is a suit that he was testing. It was going to be a battle suit that he was going to try and sell to the military. Yeah. Um, and there was an accident and a piece of shrapnel pierced his heart and he ended up making the suit to survive. So it's not the Middle East War kind of it's thing. It's so right? similar. And then there's been two other incantations. One was where 
Same thing, he did get captured by terrorists and they forced him to work, build him a suit and he used the suit to escape and then became Iron Man. Yeah. Um, same deal, though, like he had shrapnel in his heart. But that, that's, he that's what stays the same. That, that's the same concept. That, that's yeah. why he wears the suit, you know, because the suit... Keeps him alive. It's keeping him alive. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It actually is a prosthetic. They even made a joke about it in the movies, you know, like, it's not a, not a suit of armour, it's a prosthesis. It's a part of me, you can't yeah. have it. You know, like, it keeps him alive. Like, that's what it's essentially... is. Built for, so. Quick question, quick question while we're going on this path. Uh, the shrapnel that stops him from dying from it piercing his heart with the solar, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Oh, with the arc reactor. The arc yeah. reactor, yeah. yeah. So with, um, with that, I believe in the movies, correct me if I'm wrong, did he actually end up removing it? In the last one, yeah, you see him undergoing oh, sure. surgery. Now, now my, next, my next connecting question is, does that correlate to the comics? There has been stories in the comics where it, it eventually he did, yeah. yeah. Um, like it wasn't, it was more like a, just a suit of armour rather than something to keep him alive in the end. Yeah. But like, as I said, like, this is the original and that's why you can see by the face. Um, if you get any modern Iron Men, all, they'll have LED features for days. Light up gloves, chest, eyes, everything. Uh, this one in the comics you never really saw, like he had blasts that would shoot out of his hands and rockets that he flew around with. But it was pretty much just a brawler. Yeah. You know what I mean? With encased in steel. Like, this is, you got to remember, guys, this is going back to a time before adamantium and vibranium and all this sort of stuff. So, you know, steel was pretty tough back then. You know, <laughs> you, you bash someone with a bit of steel and they stayed down. Oh, I think that's still true to this day. <laughs> well, it is. I mean, in the real world, but I'm saying yeah. in the comic book sense, like with sort of the galactic powers that be and stuff like that these yeah. days. So, yeah. But yeah. So that explains kind of the look. So it's like the classic look of the comic books. That yes. Representing yes. This. In fact, like, for example, I remember back when I was a kid, they used to have like these short little, um, the old school guys will probably remember, this is way before your time, you weren't even born, <laughs> um, was like a little 15 or 8 minute cartoons, and they were like mixtures, like some like Captain America, The Hulk, or Iron Man, and this is what he looked like in that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that gives you an idea, and they were like late 60s, early 70s cartoons, so in that regard, yeah, he's, he's bang on for that, for that style and that era. Now, a lot of people say that about him. They go, oh, he's too slender, you know, and stuff like that. You've got to remember, this Iron Man was just a guy that put, like, a tin suit on over the top. You know, it was like, it didn't have all the fancy gadgets and everything in it. You know, the UI I mean? the, interface, yeah, yeah. The interfaces yeah. and stuff like that. That all came way later. Yeah. So, in this, basically, he's just a guy in a tin suit that's tough, can fly, and shoot some energy blasts. You know, badass. Yeah, pretty, pretty badass. badass. But, um, like, about the actual statue itself, starting at the base... The base weighs a ton. Yeah, I I I had a bit of problem trying to balance it. Yeah, when we were assembling and taking it out of the box, um, you may have seen, like, um, the statue itself, pretty light, which isn't necessarily bad. You know, I'm not one of these people, oh, it has to weigh a ton for me to think I've got my money's worth or anything like that. When it's sculpted beautifully and I like the look of it, yeah, that's all you need. And, like, you know, really, come on, guys. Patriotic American hero. You know, like... I'd love to see more statues with just a little thing like that. You know what I mean? It's little so, added features that you see. It, make it is. It is. I mean, like, statue. and I mean, like, as you see with this, this is one that came out eight years ago. Um, originally retail, I think it was like two ninety nine. Okay, so two hundred ninety nine US dollars. You're lucky to get this guy for under a grand now, and that's Australian guys. So in American sense, you're probably looking at the seven fifty mark, something like that. Yeah. But yeah, at the moment, like, geez. You know, like that, that's a massive ramp up in yeah, a short amount of time. Yeah, it you know? is, it and is. because they're not making them like this. If they're making them like this, you know, in the classic style. I mean, like, I understand there's a lot of angst in the community. Do you like museum poses? I prefer action poses and stuff like that. Me, I've got a mixed mash of all. Yeah, why not both? Why do you have to choose? Yeah, Maybe I, I, one day I feel like looking at one, one day I feel like looking at the other. Yeah, yeah. Um, but look, you know, tastes are funny things. Everyone's got their own tastes and stuff like that. Me, personally, I love a really good museum pose. Yeah. You know? Um, but, man, when you see those good action poses yeah. on those statues, like... Well, like that so much Green Lantern. Yeah, yeah, the Green Lantern. Yeah, yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, look at the un- unboxing videos for that Green Lantern. Mm, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, the first... Put it this way. We got seven that day. And we both unanimously picked that one to be the first one we ripped out. So, and we weren't disappointed. We weren't so, disappointed yeah. at but all. But back to this one, we, you know, we back, sidetrack it again. Sidetrack. Because <laughs> right. we do that, we do that a bit. We get on the coffee and then start yak, yak, yak. But, um, yeah, look, guys, he, he is absolutely fantastic. I love the paint app. I love the sculpt. Um, I like the look of the, 
the solid armor rather than the segmented look that he's yeah, got. Yeah, that's what I was about. Now. I like the solid armor and then like the definition and especially like the back and the arms and stuff. It looks kind of cool with the pose. Yeah, yeah, like, it's like, like skin tight rather than um yeah. like an actual armor suit. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah it, I actually really like it. And the flag's just an awesome addition. To be honest, what does it for me is like speaking of someone like. My generation, whatever you'd yeah. like to say, it's cool to see a bit, especially when it's all focused on, you know, the Tony Stark modern edition, yes. and the modern Iron Man, a and that throwback. Yeah, a bit, but like looking at something like I've never seen before because mm -hmm. I don't read the comics of Iron Man, especially well, the classic actually, ones. When I did show you this first time, that was just sort of your impression. Oh, he's he's cool, but it doesn't look like Iron Man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I had yeah, to yeah. Oh, this is so what I'm, Iron Man originally. Because, was. The I'm only difference impressed. was he did have like a um, uh, the helmet was a bit different. Like. A, so this is, so I should say, classic style with a slightly modern take with the helmet. Yeah. Um, so more silver age rather than classic age, sorry. So in this one, like, um, the other one had like a, I can put it, so where, where the, this part is here, it was sort of like raised into like sort of fins at the front. So it was like the plates had been like... Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. On. So yeah, that, that was the original original. But yeah, like, I love him. Really love him. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm saying. Like the classic look, like for me, that's it's just something a bit different. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. sort of one look. You know the modern look. You know it's like when you look at like new like new class cars, modern cars, but then you go to the vintage and you're exactly. Just like, Whoa, yeah. Well, that's like, a, that, that's vintage effect. Iron Man. I mean, that's the thing. If you're an Iron Man collector and you love them new ones with the LEDs and stuff like that, he'd be an awesome addition to your collection. Imagine just having all lined up. Yeah, that's what classic I'm saying. to modern. And, and, well, I have actually seen it. There is some people that pretty much just exclusively collect Iron Man. And I could imagine, they've yeah, got like, yeah. you know, like, like the scenes in the movie where they've got like all the different suits of armour and stuff. I didn't see that. Hot Toys. So, buy more Hot Toys, we could say. <laughs> so, um, buy the damn, damn Hot Toys, that's what he says, yeah. But um, with, the, with the Hot Toys, they've got a huge range of them. And you can actually buy display kits and stuff that, yeah. you know, you can like, lock them in the vault. You know, yeah. like he sort of has, where you see them rotating around. That's and stuff cool. like that. yep, Yeah, so, so with the statue, Jason, you usually get about a 10... Would you like to rate it out of 10 for this statue today, or are you going to go for well, a different approach? No, look, now I'm a DC fan, first and foremost, we yeah. know this. Like you say, every, every single time, video. Time. <laughs> but I've got to give him a 10. Like, seriously, yeah. just for paint apps, sculpt, design. Um, I mean, look, I give the exclusive a 10 as well. But, I mean, just, this is what I've got, so this is what I'm looking at in front of yeah. me. But, yeah, I'd definitely give him a 10. Like, can't, can't fault anything on it. Um... As I said, I've heard people say to slender, stuff like that. If you pick up the comic of this era and you look at it, it's spot on. Yeah. You know? That's and cool. you know, I just call it how I said, if there is anything that's different, I just go, oh, that's wrong, that's <laughs> wrong, you know? But no, like, honestly. Um, but, uh, the only thing, and I mean, it's nothing to do with, oh, I would have probably liked some wire in the flag. Now, if you had a few say, not, not like, a killer, though, is it? No, no definitely killer. not a killer. That's why I haven't taken any points or anything. Else. But I mean, if you had some wire in the fag where you could actually pose it like it's flying in the wind behind yeah, no, that, you, that would be. I'll take it to the next And I'm level sure someone's done. Absolutely sure Custom, someone's done. Yeah. It'd be pretty easy just to run some wire along the inside edge. Maybe that's something we should do. Maybe. 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 Straight away into it, I'm, I'm, I'm a big. From you. Gets a thumbs up on the pure principle that I love the classic look. Yeah. It's refreshing for me since I, it's like one of, one of the first times because Jason showed me I'm, I'm like unboxing and everything we've seen it, but it's like one of the first times I've seen something fresh look like that. Mm. It personally, really different from the movie look. You know, I, I'm just into it. This, like I like the flag especially, and I think the size of the flag, how they did it, the actual flag itself on the on the pole. Is perfect because it actually makes an exceptional piece to the statue. It does. Because yeah. I believe if, if that was a bit less in size, it wouldn't be like, oh, that's cool, but yeah, you know what I mean? But with, with it like that, it's just like sticking out there, you know, mm. it's like, wow. It, it complements the pose, complements the base, you know what I mean? Yeah. It just complements it overall, just that that one flag piece. It does. So, so that's why I'm just like, I'm big yes. Until and like when I was saying about the paint, like the one thing I'm just still sitting here just marveling at while, while looking at it is, Look at the sheen. Look at the sheen. I'll show you that in the close-up. Yeah. It, it, it's just, like, this is an eight-year-old piece. Yep. Yeah. And, you know, like, I'm the second person to have owned it sort of thing, you know? So, um, I, I'm, I know I'm meticulous with mine, and I keep, like, all my really prized ones <laughs> locked away and stuff like that. And don't worry, these ones at the back of their prize, too. I'm just I'm getting shelving, um, Perspex glass and that done for them. So, um, but, yeah, like, I'm really amazed at him. Yeah, you know, like, th that he's really maintained his sheen and 
looks fantastic overall after all this time. Yeah, well, yeah. good quality then. Mm. Just yeah, if you're hunting in the market for an older piece, you definitely can't go wrong if yeah. you find one of these at a good price. So, yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's I guess that's it. Um, yeah, that's us for now, guys. Um, Happy collecting. Remember like, to like and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. And also tune in for our next video. We'll be doing a skeleton from He Man. Yeah, yeah. So tune it's in. It's going to be so good. We're, we're all over the place here, guys. You know, it's not just Marvel and DC, even though He Man and the Master Universe has been picked up by DC now. Yeah, but, yes, have. Yeah. Um, so I sort of could contradict myself there, but yeah. doesn't matter. Uh, that's the way we roll here. Yeah. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I was saying, guys. Enjoy the enjoy the statue. We're going to give you a good close up of it now. So and see you, you next time okay. for sure. And yeah, remember like, subscribe, and don't forget to check out the Collectiverse as well, guys. So thanks very much. See ya.